Hello everyone, my name is Devendra Das, along with me, my friend Venkat Reddy Konasani. So we are going to record today the interview questions answer session. The sole intention to help any interview who are going to appear for uh, the interview in the field of machine learning and advanced analytics questions. Uh, this is how this interview is going to help them to how to understand the questions properly, how to articulate the answer, which makes sense towards the selection process. Believe this is going to help the students of DV Analytics, as well as the student, those who would be seeing us in YouTube or any other channels to learn the skills, how to answer in the field of machine learning and advanced analytics. Here, I'm going to start with uh, the interview process to Venkat Reddy Konasani who is appearing here with four years of experience, he is having some background from the education toward the industry and the projects, and later we'll be hitting towards machine learning and advanced analytics interview questions and answers. We will start this year. Yes, Venkat. So this particular interview recording that we're doing here, this is to help people who are especially having four to five years experience in the data science or machine learning background. So that what kind of interview questions that they get. So I'm going to enact or I'm going to do a role play of a resource or an aspirant. And Devsar is going to play the role of an interviewer. So he will try to ask me the questions that are related to a data scientist or machine learning interview, which are around four to five years experience. Okay. So for some of the questions, you may have to give a detailed answer. For some of the questions, since it is just four to five years experience, it's not necessary that you have to know everything that is there in data science. For some of the questions, you may have to give an answer, which it may involve saying that you may not have worked on that particular field. So we'll try to do it in the best possible manner. And one more thing is we are trying to cover almost all the common interview questions that we have uh, got from our students, thousands of our students previously have attended multiple interviews. So once the interview gets completed, they come back and they tell us what kind of questions that they have got. So we have compiled all those questions and we'll try to give you a way how to answer all these common interview questions, which are particularly related to machine learning. Yes, sir. please go ahead. Thank you, Venkat. Now let's start with the interview process. Okay. So Venkat, I have your resume with me and uh, could you please take me through your profile once? So my name is Venkat. Previously, I have worked for a banking organization. In that organization, most of the times I was working with machine learning models with Python. Prior to that initial days, in my initial days, I was working on reporting analytics. So I have the experience of working on tools like Tableau, Power BI. For data handling, I use SQL. And most of the times in my day-to-day -day life, I have to use Excel for sure, Excel, PPT, this uh, documentation, email writing, all of that already I have to get involved with. So recently from past two years, most of the times I'm spending my time on Python and some of the machine learning techniques. Prior to this, I did my B.Tech in computer science engineering, and I come from a city called Vijayawada, which is in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, good. So, uh, Venkat, I have a couple of questions which we want to evaluate your machine learning skills, and I'll be asking those questions, looking forward to see your answers, which helps us to identify your uh, technical competency. Okay, so the first question, like, uh, explain the various or explain the difference between the classification and the regression model in machine learning so classification and regression they differ when it comes to the target variable what are you predicting if you are predicting a target variable which is like a classification or a categorical variable if you are predicting whether a customer will buy the product or not buy or in credit risk you are predicting whether the customer will be a defaulter or a non defaulter or a particular transaction is fraudulent or non fraudulent or a particular email is spam or non-spam. These are all classification models where you're trying to predict either this class or that class. Whereas in regression, the target variable is continuous. For example, if you are predicting sales, monthly sales, or if you are predicting loss percentage, if you are predicting number of users or number of customers, if the target variable is continuous, those kind of problems are known as regression problems. If the target variable is categorical, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, limited values or limited classes, those type of problems are known as classification problems. Okay, I will have a couple of more uh, questions to evaluate your technical competency in the field of machine learning. What is machine learning and how does it differ from a traditional programming skills? So machine learning, if you see the broad definition of it, or in layman's language, an easy way to understand machine learning is a machine is trying to understand the patterns in the data. Using those patterns, we create a mathematical equation. Using that equation, we can make a prediction. An example would be, I can take the data of all the customer's financial history in the sense, how many loans they have taken, how many times they have paid late, what is their monthly utilization, what is their income, 
based on that i can predict whether a customer is going to get defaulted or not so before giving a loan i can predict whether he is going to be defaulted or not that is the typical your credit risk model or the civil score is calculated around that now that is machine learning which means you don't need to cover all the particular patterns or all the patterns in the data you give a particular data set the model will learn and makes a prediction now traditional programming is rule based you have to give certain rules it will just follow the rule if you are writing a program if this 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 happens then what is the predicted value now if there is a new item or if there is a new customer that comes in a traditional program it will check whether previously given values does it contain or not in my previous cases in my previous cases if this customer is not there then traditional program cannot make a prediction for example in our data set in a machine learning model if we give the range of income from 1200 dollars to around 100000 dollars now we don't need to give all the values of income even then the machine learning model will be able to make a prediction so machine learning model can make a prediction without explicitly coding every scenario whereas a traditional program you have to explicitly code every single bit of scenario that's the major difference okay okay so in that case what i would look forward to understand what is called overfitting in machine learning and how it can be avoided overfitting is one of the most headache or overfitting is one of the most uh, vulnerable situation for a model that we need to be careful with so what exactly is overfitting in machine learning we give a data set for building the model but we don't want to use the model on that data set if we go back to the same credit risk example we give some data set so that i can build a credit risk model but that model i want to use it in future for predicting the new customers so i'll build a model on the old data i'll use the model when a new customer comes in whether this customer will pay back or not whether this customer will get defaulted or not so i'm going to use it on the new data set now what is overfitting a machine learning model looks perfect on the data set that i have given to it the machine learning model will show 100% accuracy on the data set that i have used for building that data set name is known as trained data so machine learning model shows 100% accuracy or a very high accuracy on the trained data the data set that is used for building the model and the same model will utterly fail on the test data what is test data or a future data set it will fail or any other data set it will fail that is known as overfitting overfitting means a machine learning model is overly understanding or almost memorizing our trained data it will work only well on that particular trained data set that is known as the problem of overfitting and the overfitting happens if the model is too complex if we take a decision tree model overfitting happens if the tree is too large if you take a logistic regression model overfitting happens if you involve too many features if you do too much of feature engineering so that you can increase the model accuracy so overfitting can be avoided by simplifying the model first of all you can identify it by building the model on the trained data by checking its accuracy on the test data if trained data accuracy is very high test data accuracy is relatively low then you will say the model is overfitted you can avoid overfitting by simplifying the model or in some other cases in advanced machine learning models like random forest and boosting by fine tuning the hyperparameters we can avoid the problem of overfitting so what is cross validation in machine learning cross validation is once again related to that overfitting underfitting only so basically model validation means i have built a machine learning model i have to tell how good that model is model validation means how good that model is that model going to work or not if we go to regression model validation measure is r square higher the r square better the model if i go for classification models like logistic regression or decision trees the model validation measures are confusion matrix accuracy precision recall so these are all the model validation measures what do you mean by cross validation validating on the trained data set as well as some other data set let's call it as test data or validation data that is known as cross validation validating it on some other data set other than the data that you have just used for building the model okay why we go for feature engineering in machine learning and what is its importance feature engineering is the art within the data science or why data scientists are called as scientists so this is where that science part is coming or the scientist part where we have to do for example there is a particular feature let us suppose you are building a model you have four features okay if you directly use those four features maybe the model accuracy is very less feature engineering is that particular technique where by using those four features by slightly modifying them so basically feature engineering is a technique where we take the existing feature and we try to extract the information manually and then send it to a machine learning model so creating new features from the existing features so that the machine learning model will be able to learn the pattern 
one of the example is the binning technique for example there are there is a variable directly if you use it in the model it's not showing good accuracy but there are some bits and pieces there are some bins in that particular variable where there is a good pattern but we are losing out on that or if you directly use that variable the model may not be able to learn so by doing this binning we can extract that small information give it to the model it will increase the accuracy another one is for example if there is a column called region which takes values east west north south since these are non numerical you cannot directly use them in the model directly if you use it in the model you will get an error saying that these are non numerical you cannot use them how do you, uh, for example in one of the region the sales is very high in one of the region the sales is very less the machine learning model will find it very helpful while predicting the sales now how do you give that information to a machine learning model by doing one hot encoding that is one of the feature engineering technique for example sometimes you have a variable called the date date is 19th february 2024 if you directly look at that variable 19th february 2024 there is <coughs> there's no information in that directly you cannot use it inside your model even if you use it there is no real value so instead of using that date variable as it is what if i break it into three different columns three new features day of the month month value year value if i break one variable into three variables one feature into three features i have engineered these three features now once i have the month value maybe the sales is very high in a particular quarter can i derive quarter from the month i can maybe the sales is very high towards the month end can i de derive month end month beginning from this particular feature so deriving new features from the existing features so that the machine learning model will learn something so that the final accuracy will improve that is known as feature engineering feature engineering is our last effort to improve the accuracy of the machine learning model